That was that, then. We were finally going to tell Brick the truth. Okay, Brick. It happened this way. It was raining and snowing. One of those weird Indiana snow rains that we get now and then. Don't worry. Your mother's picking up Sue from ballet and taking her to her piano lesson tomorrow. Man, Sue is so good at everything. I don't know how she's going to narrow it down when she gets older. Oh, here's another one. Ooh. Wow. Look at this room. Oh, it's almost as big as our house. The TV's almost as big as our house. Oh, fruit basket. Hey. Oh, look at all those magazines. Am I going to be sharing this room with someone else? No, you reserved the entire suite for yourself, Mrs. Ferguson. Wait, we're not the... You know, I really could use another pillow. No problem. What'd you do that for? Why should we say anything? Because the Fergusons are going to need this room. Oh, it's my third kid, Mike. I'll pop this one out before they know it. Come on. For once in my life, let me experience the horrors of childbirth in luxury. Here you go. It's a new kind of foam that cradles your head like a marshmallow. Special for this suite. Now, if she needs anything else, just come get me, Mr. Ferguson. We could use a couple more bananas in the fruit basket. <laughs> you took the Ferguson's room? That's terrible. Yes, it is. Should we just stop here? Let's just power through to the end. So, a quick 27 hours later, during which your dad was very manly and did not pass out, I was holding my sweet new baby boy in my arms. Hi, Brick. You still sure about that name? Oh, yeah. I told you I read where kids with interesting names grow up to be interesting people. How you doing, Mom? I know you don't want to give him up for even a second, but I need to take him for his heel prick test. <gasps> Would you like to come watch, Mr. Ferguson? Mr. Ferguson? Oh, sorry. Fourth and goal. Everything looks good. You can take him back up now. Great. Yeah, interception. little cards didn't help. They both said Ferguson. I guess they got our crappy room, but I wasn't going to ask. Brick. Brick. I was pretty sure I picked the right one, but I knew your mom would notice if I brought back the wrong baby. Oh, there's my beautiful boy. And that's how we ended up taking home Blake Ferguson. You brought home the wrong baby? How could you not know it wasn't me? I figured your mom would know. Mothers are supposed to know those things. Oh, so it's my fault? You're the one that had to watch the game. I was all drugged up. They could have put a turkey in my arms. I would have taken it home. I would just like to point out that I was only five. Technically one. I'm part of the cover-up, but I was not part of the crime. Blake was cool. You could feed him anything. Wait. How long until you realized you had the wrong baby? Pretty soon after. Really soon. A day? Two days? A month. What? A month. A month? Give or take a day. You didn't know it wasn't me for a whole month? But you're my parents. How could you not tell? Brick, all newborns look the same. But eventually we figured it out, you know, after the authorities called. So you're telling me I spent the first month of my life, the most important month, bonding with the Fergusons? Hey, I know how it sounds, but it's not that bad. You know, you were the first for the Fergusons, so they put a lot of effort into you. But we really are sorry, Brick. For all of it. Mother, father, thank you for your delayed honesty. I'll be in my, formerly Blake's, room.